toys and bath bombs. What a great combination. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Sherry, and this is Buddy, top dog of Lucky Dog Creations. Hello, friends. Today, we are going to be making surprise toy bath bombs for the kids. Now, these toys are very small and can cause a choking hazard, so they are not recommended for children under the age of four. I already have my dry ingredients mixed up. I'm not going to go over the recipe. Um, it is my basic bomb recipe and I will include the link below. So for the wet ingredients I have five teaspoons of water in my glass. I'm going to add one teaspoon of vitamin E oil. And I have an interesting uh, essential oil which I think will be great for this uh, recipe and it is, I don't know if you can see that, it says monkey farts. What is monkey fart essential oil you may ask? That's what I asked. It is, doesn't smell bad like the name implies. It actually has the scent of um, bananas, fresh grapefruit, strawberries, kiwi, bubble gum, and a touch of vanilla. It's an interesting smell. So I'm going to go ahead and put two teaspoons of monkey farts in my wet mix. and stir them up. And what color are monkey farts? I have no idea. But I'm going to use, I think this is a purple, it's from China. I can't read Chinese. But I'm just going to put, yeah it looks like it's going to be purple. Some of that in there. And stir that up. And it's going to be a very light purple. It probably will not make much of a difference in the mix. It'll just be very faint. But the color is not the important part. It's the surprise toy inside. And as I always do, I add the liquid ingredients very slowly to the dry ingredients because the citric acid and the baking soda together with the liquid will activate. That's what causes the fizzing in your bath water with the bath bomb. So you want to go very, very slow so as to not to start the activation before you're ready. So you just add a little bit and stir. And a little bit and stir. And I'll go ahead and keep doing this and I will be back when I get it all incorporated. Like I said, it's not very colored at all. Does smell good. Consistency is uh, of like wet sand. So we're ready to put them in our bath bombs. Now I have two separate types of surprise toys I'm going to put in. One is these little capsules that when they hit the water the outside capsule will um, evaporate and you'll get like a little sponge surprise toy. Now these are zoo animals but I don't know what ones they are. My other toys are going to be the little Pokemon toys and they're already you can tell what they are as soon as they come out so we'll get started. So you do like you always do with the bath bomb, you pack it down. I'll put one of these capsules in there and then pack it over it. And what a good surprise for little kids when they take a bath and you throw a bath bomb in and all of a sudden up pops either a Pokemon toy or a sponge zoo animal. They're going to enjoy their bath a lot more. 
and get the other side pack it down I can smell the bubble gum in this and some other flavors but I can't really distinguish the other flavors but the bu bubble gum is kind of strong okay. and then you put them together like so and there you go so I'm going to go ahead and let these dry and then I'll show you the finished product of that I'll go ahead and do one with a Pokemon toy we'll do this little guy here pack that down and when I show you the finished products I'm not going to know which one will be the Pokemon toy and which one will be the zoo animal I'll stick him down like that finish covering him up and pack the other side down them together. And there you have it, a surprise toy monkey fart bath bomb. I'll see you in about two hours after they have time to dry. Hi everyone, we are back. Uh, the bath bombs have dried for two hours and they turned out really good. So I will show you the surprise inside. I'm guessing that this one is the capsule with the zoo animal in it. We'll see. Here goes. And it's fizzing really well, just like most of the bath bombs do. Let's just hope that when it's done fizzing, we'll see the surprise inside. It does have a very pleasant smell, fruity with bubble gum. Well, the capsule popped up, as you can see. It's still in its capsule, which is a little disappointing. Maybe if you ran it under the water and dropped the bath bomb in on running water, maybe that would work. I don't know. Okay, so it took longer for it to come out of the capsule than I was prepared for. I think that would be a little bit of a disappointment for kids. But if they take a long bath when they're about done with the bath, then the capsule probably will have dissolved enough that they would get to see their little foam animal which I'm guessing this is a rhinoceros so we'll I'll clean the bowl up and we'll try the other one and hopefully that one will be the Pokemon the bath bomb turned out really well I am not sure which one of the surprise toys that these are so let's find out fizzing quite nicely. Hopefully the little toy will pop up to the top so we all get to see it. And there it popped up. Did you see that little bit of green there? It just was released from the bath bomb. There he is. I've seen him again. Hopefully he floats. And there you have it. It's the little Pokemon toy. 
I don't know the names of the Pokemons, but there you go. So this one, I would say, turned out really, really well. If you like this video, please subscribe and hit the bell so you can receive my future videos. Um, thumbs up, thumbs down, doesn't matter. All are welcome. Please comment, suggest something that you think that I could do better, or if you have any questions, please let me know. And I'll see you next time.